I was just um, reflecting on before I met the Four Mainstays, before I met Balance View Training and, and my life and, and how that was. And, uh, and I had a really good life. Like, if, if, anyone, if you'd ever asked me, I'd have been like, yeah, yeah, life's great. Happy. You know, like, uh, just, you know, finding my way, doing my thing, enjoying myself, doing the things that I thought were um, expected and needed in order to have a good life. And, um, you know, great friends, social scene, big social scene, because that's definitely part of uh, being a successful human being, right? <laughs> How many people like you? <laughs> so, um, but not that I thought about it like that, you know, like it, it's to, it was, it was, you know, genuinely like enjoying the connection and, and enjoying life with others, like community. And, um, and then meeting the, the Balance View training and being introduced to open intelligence. And um, just like we were all introduced and just stopping thinking for a moment and to identify what's there in that moment of stopping thinking and the thoughts coming back in and that clarity and alertness still being there. The fundamental nature of intelligence always on. The data streams, the thoughts, emotions and experiences forever changing and inseparable from open intelligence like the colour blue in the sky, like the breeze in the air, not to one I, I, the data stream's only known through open intelligence. But getting to know something that was completely reliable in my own experience, something fundamental, something I had not been introduced to, and something whenever I checked in, their open intelligence is shining brightly, the bright, the bright nature of mind, the bright nature of intelligence on, always on. And I had not been introduced, I had not learnt that I could rely on this in short moments. It had been to focus in on the data streams and describe them. How am I feeling today? Is that okay? Do these people like me? Should I be with them? Does this, do I feel weird here? Do I feel good? Am I feeling frustrated, anxious? And then having to sort of remedy it in some way and being very good at it very skillful at remedying the data, avoiding situations that made me feel uncomfortable, people, places, things, replacing feelings, replacing data streams with better ones, feeling negative, think something positive, and, uh, or indulging, going into the story, not knowing that I had a choice apart from using my mind in this way, not having a choice not being told that there's another way to use my intelligence. And that way is to completely relax, to completely allow the data streams to be as they are, acknowledge and rely on the entirety of intelligence in one single short moment. Open intelligence, opening intelligence right here, we can all do it right now. It's so fundamental, it's so available and been so overlooked. An education, that was not available to me, not available to most of us. And, um, and so the purpose of Balanced View is to make this available to anyone who would like it. To get to know our true nature, to get to know the nature of our intelligence, to train it up, to see that it's omnipresent, present in all moments, inseparable from everything we feel, the true nature of everything we feel. And what we discover, what I discovered, was that there was a life available to me of such effortless ease and potency. Like instead of running scared from my data streams, thinking I needed to change them, can allow them to be as they are and get to know immediate benefit, immediate benefit in every single moment. In just allowing our experience to be as it is, we test out for ourselves how that is. You can try it right now. Just relaxing mind and body completely, no matter what is arising, the data stream. See how that is. Be a good scientist. Investigate our own experience. It's not about believing anything you hear. 
to claim our birthright as open intelligence. That's what's been overlooked. And so standing up and shouting out for that of utmost importance. Because uh, to live a life thinking that the content of our mind needs to change and we need to be actively engaged and using our efforts and energy in order to not feel angry or not feel weird. That was a really good one. <laughs> I should so want to feel weird. I don't know, you know, like nondescript weirdness. Like, <laughs> that was just like an immediate sign that I had to uh, run away or fall asleep or something. And um, <laughs> that's a really good avoidance strategy, right? Have a sleep. I was like, <laughs> and then, like, you, you know, like, you go into, like, all the data change. I mean, the data change anyway. Like, let's look at our own experience. Moment by moment, everything is fresh and new. The, the data stream's forever changing and ceases. So we don't need to get in there and try and change them. It's already happening for us. So that's a great relief. So we just relax more. And really, like, there, what happens in these short moments of open intelligence is the revealing of the balanced view revealing of our natural capacity to see what is of greatest benefit to all. Through opening, 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 allowing opening intelligence to be obvious rather than, it's like, it's like being, it's like standing on the mountaintop, that view which is innate to us, seeing everything all at once. Allowing it to appear simultaneously all at once, whatever it is. Great intelligence always on. Or we're in the valley, focused in on a single data stream trying to fix it, <laughs> well, we don't need to. And then just seeing for myself, wow, I start to be informed by my experience in a whole new way, informed by reality, informed by life in ways that I couldn't be before. When I was expending all my energy and trying to fix data streams, change them, avoid them, replace them, indulge them, and then starting to see this great stability, clarity, clear seeing coming about and relating, really openly relating with myself and others in a way that I just always wanted. Rooted in innate respect, rooted in innate equality. Even if judgments are coming up, they too, the, the dynamic power of open intelligence, data streams arising in open intelligence, we allow them to be as they are, you know, rather than jumping on that judgment turning it into something, giving it an independent nature, yeah, giving it a power it doesn't have, we just remain completely open. Completely open. And from the balanced view of open intelligence, we just naturally see how we can be of benefit in that situation. You know, before, like, judgments used to be so closing, like, they, they needed an action associated with it, or they needed me to sort of either push it away or do something with it. And, um, and now they can just be as they are equally arising in open intelligence. That's the great equality. Equalness and evenness. The true nature of all our data streams, of all experience. And um, you know, the, the balance view, the four mainstays makes this easy. It makes it easy. It makes it easy to get to know open intelligence. and. Um, it's amazing seeing, you know, my, my journey, as you could say, with, with gaining confidence in the four mainstays, gaining confidence in open intelligence, how, like, I didn't want it to be easy. <laughs> I, like, wanted to make it harder for myself. I was just used to doing things on my own. I know the answer. <laughs> and so, thank you. And, um, and so, you know, this sort of but so being so magnetized and fascinated by the recognition of open intelligence and everything that was offered in the four mainstays. Like, you got it all. You got, you got, you got the practice, like really the easiest practice you could ever imagine. Okay, right, short moments of complete relaxation. Not long moments, short moments. Hello. Like, <laughs> that's brilliant. So do nothing. Just, just, just be as you are. Be as you are. Like, where's the problem in that? But like, you know, thinking about short moments for ages, like, no, but is it, is it good? Is it what I want? You know, it's like, it's instinctive to us. It's instinctive to us. It, it, it's what's going on. Open intelligence is present, shining brightly in every single moment. It has been always, always. We just didn't recognise it. So that's like a big joke, isn't it? <laughs> and, um, and so we just, 
just relax more. I just found showing up in the four mainstays. So then, then we also have a community of people, amazing friends, ready to go, like fired up, ready for action. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What's your dream? What do you love to see in the world? What's your passion? What's your heart movement? How would you like to be a great benefit to all? And there is an entire global community of people ready, ready. A trainer, a teacher who will only ever see your great exaltation and empowerment. Not, not someone that's going to go into your flaws and try and work out your problems and focus on them. No, they will see your power. They will see your power and they will bring it out <laughs> through, through skillful means that are found in open intelligence. They will make it obvious to you. You will make it obvious to yourself. That's the empowerment. And the starting point in the balance you train is you're perfect as you are and nothing needs to change. What? <laughs> I mean, this is just like so good. And it's so, you know, but a complete, well, gratitude to myself for my openness to continue on. And um, you know, all sorts of different data streams come up along the way. That's great, that's great. And, and that's where we, we see we see the power of open intelligence, we see the power of relying on short moments. It's, it becomes like the greatest adventure. Anything we've thought is wrong about ourselves or anyone else, we start to see the bright shine of open intelligence indivisibly. Great benefit, indivisible from that data stream. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong, nothing ever wrong with us, with anyone. And we start to see that in others too others. We see that in, no matter if someone's indulging in their data streams, you know, really no matter what is happening, we see open intelligence shining brightly, pervading them. We see, we feel and understand compassionately the movement to be a benefit to all, because we know it's our own. We know that's what open intelligence is, and that's what sh everybody shares, everyone. So to have a, a world, a society based on this, rather than partisaning people out, dividing things up, and then trying to bring it together, it's just we, we, we go to the very starting point of the complete unity of open intelligence, drawing everything and everyone in to great benefit, to perfect love. And... Uh, so the short moments of open intelligence and showing up to the, the empowerment network of the four mainstays, you know, like it can just look how it looks for each of us. And we flourish. We flourish in ways that we could not even imagine. That's so exciting. Like, we could not even imagine how greatly beneficial you are. Like, remaining completely open. And, um... So the, the balance you training makes this makes this available to anyone who would like it.